Hello students, welcome you to this session. In this video, I am going to teach you one of the very very simple topic for 10th standard ICSE that is reflections. Very simple topic, you can score 4 mark in this one. The topic is reflection. You know what is reflection? Suppose if we have a mirror here, if you stand somewhere here, you can see your reflection in the mirror, right? So it will be in the other side, in the other side. But one thing, the distance will be same. So distance of the object and distance of the image, both are what? Equal, okay? Suppose this is 2 meter, this also 2 meter, but only in the opposite direction. If the mirror is like this, suppose you keep an object here, you can see the image in this side, okay? That's the opposite side, that's all, okay? So now this is mirror, instead of mirror, we are going to see axis, okay? When you take two axis, x-axis and y-axis, you know, uh, we have reflection in x-axis, reflection in y-axis, also we have reflection in the origin, that is zero comma zero, okay? Let us see all these things one by one. Listen, suppose you want to find the reflection of a point. I'm taking a point here, 2 comma 3. In the graph, I'm taking a point, 2 comma 3. X coordinate 2 and Y coordinate what? 3, 2 comma 3. What is the reflection of this point A on X axis? See, this is X axis. Now, X axis, you take it as mirror. Okay, X axis is like our mirror. So the same distance you take in the other side, right? Here, how many units? Three units. So take three units, one, two, three, you'll be reaching here, right? So this point, what is this point? Can you say the coordinate? X value two and Y value minus three. Two comma minus three is a reflection of A on X axis. Now let us see what is the reflection of A in Y axis. Now take Y axis as the mirror. Take Y axis as the mirror. Now listen. The point A is here, it's reflection on y-axis, okay? So this distance, two units, same two units move this side, okay? You'll get a point here, and that point is reflection in y-axis. So can you tell me the coordinate of this one? X value minus 2 and y value is 3. So listen very carefully. A is the point 2, 3, right? A is the point 2, 3. A is the point 2 comma 3 and what is a dash a dash you got a dash is 2 comma minus 3 2 comma minus 3 that is reflection on x axis reflection in x axis okay now a double dash that is reflection in y axis let, let us see the coordinate what is that minus 2 3 so it is minus 2 3 and one more i said that is reflection in the origin. So what is that, you know? Now listen listen very carefully. The point, the distance you take from A to O, A to O, the same distance you extend the other side. You extend the same distance to the other side, okay? So you get a point here, right? You are getting a point here, yes. So that is called what? Reflection on what? Reflection on the origin. Okay, so can you say what is that point? It is minus 2, minus 3. The point is minus 2, minus 3. Okay, so look once again. Yes, this one. This is the reflection. The point A is 2, comma 3. So just extend it through origin. Same distance you have to extend it. So this point is, what is this point? X value minus 2 and y value minus 3. X value minus 2 and y value minus 3. And that is the reflection in the origin. Minus 2 minus 3. Reflection in the origin. Okay, so A triple dash I am taking that one. Okay. So all these three are reflections. One is in x-axis, one is in y-axis, another one is in the origin. So x-axis, take x-axis as the mirror, it moves to the other side, same distance. When you take y-axis, reflection in y-axis, take y-axis as the mirror. If a point is here, its image is the other side. Okay, same distance. So for origin alone, just you join the O and just extend it to the same length. Now, without diagram, please listen very carefully, without diagram, how can you identify? Let us see the changes. A is the point 2, 3. A is the point 2, 3. 
What is A dash? C. Reflection in X axis. See what change to X coordinate to no change. X coordinate to Y coordinate 3. It changed to minus 3. So reflection in X axis, you change the sign of Y. The other one, reflection in X axis, no change in X, change in Y. So for Y, you change the sign for reflection in X axis. So can you guess reflection Y axis? For X axis, change the sign of Y. So for Y axis, change the sign of X. So yes, that's what happened. The 2 become minus 2. A is the point 2, comma 3. A is the point 2, comma 3. Reflection in Y axis, so change the sign of X. So 2 become minus 2, 3 there is no change. That is reflection in Y axis. So for X axis, change the sign of Y coordinate. In Y axis, change the sign of X coordinate. Now for origin, change the sign of both. Change the sign of both X and Y. See, A is the point 2, comma 3. A triple dash, reflection in the origin. So change the sign of both. So minus 2, minus 3. Are you able to understand? Only these three. But in some cases, now listen here, I'll show an example. Suppose if I take the point on x axis, I've taken a point here, P. Can you see that? 6, 0. The point 6, 0 is here. What is this reflection on y axis? So now y axis is the mirror. 6, 0 is somewhere here. Its image will be in the other side. Same 6 unit to take it to the other side, right? So this distance is 6. Same 6 unit to take here. You will get a point here. That is P dash. That is reflection on y axis. But my question is, what is reflection of P in x axis? What is reflection of P in x axis? The point itself is in x axis, right? So point is here. Where can you find the image? Suppose an object is or some insect is sitting on the mirror. Where is this image? That point itself, right? The distance same, other side you take the distance. It is on the mirror. The distance is zero, right? So you cannot move the other side. So for a point on x-axis, the reflection in x-axis is that itself. So the reflection of 6, 0, reflection of 6, 0 in x axis for 6 comma 0 6 comma 0 p is a point 6 comma 0 its reflection in x axis is actually what i said for x axis you change the sign of y coordinate here what's y coordinate 0 for 0 if you change the sign minus 0 minus 0 is also same as what 0 that is the reason it is 6 comma 0 now please listen here if for a point if the point and image if both are same that point is called invariant that point is called what invariant it is not varying it remains same so that point is called what invariant okay so here the point 6 comma 0 is invariant with respect to x axis not for y axis because y axis means it changed right so p is 6 comma 0 r of y with respect to y means you change the sign of x coordinate the 6 become minus 6 so don't think a point is on x-axis is always, x-axis always invariant. No. If the reflection on x-axis, it is invariant. Same way, if a point is on y-axis, if a point is on y-axis, reflection on y-axis, if you take reflection in y-axis, there is no change. The point itself, then that point is invariant. Okay. In that case, point is on y-axis. Suppose a point is in y-axis somewhere here. If you take the image or if you take the reflection in x-axis, it will be in the other side. Okay, see this, uh, see one example here. If you take a point here, say 6, 0, 6. So this point is 0, 6, right? 0, 6. I am taking the point as R. R is the point 0, 6. Where is its reflection in x-axis? Same 6 unit you move here, right? You will be getting here. So this is R dash. It is 0, 6. Minus 6. But for this 0, 6, if I ask what is the reflection in y axis, now y axis is the uh, mirror, right? So it's, a, it's reflection at that point itself. Okay, so that we say that point is an invariant point with respect to y axis. Then sometimes they may ask L1 is the line, L1 is the line, then reflection of Reflection of 2 comma 0 is 2 comma 0 itself. 
or they say 2 comma 0 is an invariant point then what is this l1 please listen very carefully so see 2 comma 0 it is what 2 comma 0 itself that is 2 comma 0 is a point 2 comma 0 is a point on what x axis 2 comma 0 is a point on x axis so its image is also 2 comma 0 with respect to what x axis reflection on x axis so in this case l1 is x axis l1 is what x axis x axis means you have to change the sign of y so y coordinate is zero no since y coordinate is zero instead of zero you put minus zero there is no change so but for 2 if you change the sign it will become minus 2 okay so for zero alone zero and minus zero both are same so zero is in y coordinate position y coordinate you are changing that means it is a reflection on x axis okay same way suppose it is 6 0 comma 6 change the sign of x coordinate zero change the sign of x coordinate coordinate will change the sign zero if you change minus zero zero only 6 okay then we say it is an invariant point okay so it is the reflection it is an invariant point with respect to which axis y axis okay because x coordinate you change there is no change so it is invariant about uh, y axis okay now listen here equation of x axis and y axis you need equation of x axis what is equation of x axis y equal to 0 equation of y axis x equal to 0 because sometimes they may ask find the reflection on the line x equal 0 find the reflection on the line x equal 0 for example i am take giving a point say p is a point 2 comma minus 3 find the reflection find the reflection on the line y equal 0 so you must know on the line y equal 0 y equal to 0 is the equation of what x axis y equal to 0 means it is what x axis x axis means you change the sign of y coordinate y coordinate you change the sign so the minus 3 become what plus 3 so it is what 2 comma plus 3 okay 2 comma plus 3 like that you can hope you understood this so remember that's all reflection only three points <coughs> reflection on x axis change the sign of y coordinate reflection in y axis change the sign of x coordinate reflection in origin change the sign of both x coordinate and y coordinate then what is invariant point if the point doesn't move the point does not change the point is same itself after reflection then that point is called what invariant point okay so with this idea just i am going to teach you few sums so before that look into the <coughs> definitions reflection in x axis you can write mx or you can write rx okay rx of xy like this also you can write rx of xy reflection in x axis x axis means you change the sign of what y coordinate change the sign of y coordinate so only y you have to change x remains same y coordinate you change the sign reflection in y axis change the sign of x coordinate so x become minus x comma y reflection in the origin change the sign of both so you write minus x minus y then what is invariant point if the reflection of a point is that point itself then the point is called what invariant point then equation of x axis y equal 0 equation of y axis is x equal to 0 okay now listen here some very simple question just just i want to see whether you understood the concepts so just try to answer these questions a is a point 5 comma minus 7 a dash is a point minus 5 7 what transformation takes place listen to the question very carefully a is the point 5 comma minus 7 a dash is a point minus 5 7 so how can you identify you change which coordinate sign changed so here 5 become minus 5 so x coordinate sign changed minus 7 become plus 7 y coordinate also sign change sign changed in both the x coordinate and y coordinate that means it is reflection in the origin right so the transformation is reflection in origin see the second question you have to find the point reflection in y axis is 0 comma 3 image given 
image is given, you have to find the object. Okay, so 0, 6, that is the reflected point in what? Y-axis. In Y-axis means you have to change the sign of X coordinate. So here X coordinate 0, if you change the sign, it is minus 0, but minus 0 is same as what? 0. So 0, 3 if you take. For 0, 3 if you take reflection in Y-axis, you change the sign of X coordinate. So 0 become minus 0, so same only. So this point is called what? Invariant point, right? So see the next one. Point P is 3, comma minus 2. P dash is minus 3, minus 2. So what transformation takes place here? See, X coordinate 3 become minus 3. So X coordinate changes the sign. Y coordinate minus 2, minus 2. No change. Only X coordinate sign change. So transformation is what? Reflection in Y axis. Or reflection in Y axis. See the next question. P is a point. Let P is 3, comma, minus 7. Reflection in the line X equal to 0. X equal to 0 is what? Y axis. So X equal to 0 means what? Y axis. So Y axis, you find the reflection. Y axis means change the sign of X coordinate. So for X, you change the sign. So your answer is minus 3, minus 7. Look at the next one, similar question. Reflection of 0, comma, minus 4 in the line Y equal to 0. Y equal to 0 means what? X axis. Y equals 0 means X axis. For X axis, change the sign of Y. So Y you change the sign. So your answer is 0, 4. A point P is reflected in origin. Point P is reflected in origin. So you have to change the sign of what? Both X, X coordinate and Y coordinate. Coordinate of its image given. Coordinate of the image. That is P dash is given, right? P dash is given. You have to find the original point. Reflection is what? Reflection in which which one? Origin. So change the sign of both. So initial point it is P is 2 comma minus 7. Then only if you change the sign of both, 2 become minus 2 and minus 7 becomes 7. Okay, so this is the original point. See what they asked one more second next subdivision. Find the image of P. Image of P, not P dash. P that is what you got the answer now. The image of P under the reflection in X axis. Under the reflection in x-axis, in x-axis means you change the sign of y coordinate. The minus 7 become plus 7. So the answer is 2 comma 7. Okay, hope you understood. Look at this. PQ, two points given. Reflect P. Reflect P in x-axis. So P is this first one. Reflect P in x-axis. That is, you change the sign of y coordinate. So 3 become minus 3. So what's your answer? Minus 2, minus 3. Next one, reflect Q, second point, 5 comma 4. Reflect 5 comma 4 in Y axis. Change the sign of X coordinate. The 5 become minus 5. So minus 5 comma 4, right? Minus 5 comma 4. So that's all the basics. Now, what type of questions they can ask for 4 mark question, right? Let us see. But now so far, just to explain rough diagram, but now in graph. So graph means the basics, you know, x-axis, y-axis, draw along the thick line, arrow marks, capital X, capital X dash, capital Y, capital Y dash. Scale you have to write, very important. Normally we take one centimeter equal to one unit. Sometimes the question they specify, how they give, you know, they say two centimeter equal to one unit. Two centimeter equal to one unit. So two centimeters, you take it as one. So zero, after two centimeters, you put one. Another two centimeters, you put two. Then left side, minus one, minus two, y-axis also. So that also they specify. Two centimeter, one unit in both x-axis and y-axis. Sometime x-axis one scale, y-axis another scale. So read the question very carefully. You have to use pencil scale and the diagram should be neat. And sometimes here they'll ask, ask plot three points, join, you'll get a triangle. They'll ask you to find the reflection of that on what? That you read the question very carefully. But the basic principle is the same what you study now. For a triangle, if you want to find the, if you want to find the reflection of a triangle, you reflect that points, the vertices, the three points given, no? That you reflect. If it is a reflection in x-axis, y-coordinate you change. In y-axis, change the sign of x-coordinate. In the origin, change the sign of both. Plot new three points you'll get. Join, you'll get another triangle, right? So these three type questions only we are going to see. Just look at this sum. On a graph paper, plot the triangle ABC whose vertices is given. 3, 1, 5, 0. A is the point, 3, 1. 
B is the point 5 comma 0 and C is the point 7 comma 4. See, 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1. So this is the point what? A, 3 comma 1. B is the point 5 comma 0. B is the point say 5 comma 0. B is this one, 5 comma 0. And C is another point 7 comma 4. 7 comma 4. So this point is what? C. 7 comma 4. Okay, so these are the three points given, right? A is 3 comma 1. A is the point 3 comma 1. Okay, now let us join these three, right? So you join all the three, some you will get you have to draw three lines, right? First time joining A to B. Then that B to C. B to C also join next. Then that C and what? A, right? That C and A. So you are getting a triangle. Okay, so that's the answer for the first part. See what they asked here? Draw uh, first whose vertices are A, B, C. Okay. Now, draw the image of triangle ABC. Triangle ABC got it, right? Now, we want to find the uh, image of triangle ABC under. That's important. Reflection in the origin. Reflection in the origin. Now, please listen here. So, reflection in the origin. So, R0. How can you find reflection in the origin? You have to change the sign of both X coordinate and Y coordinate. So, let us find A dash. What is A dash? Minus 3, minus 1. What is B dash? Change the sign of both. Minus 5, 0. What is C dash? Minus 7, minus 4. Let us plot these points. Minus 3, minus 1. Minus 3, minus 1. Okay, so this is the reflection of A. It is A dash. Minus 3, minus 1. And what's the next one? Minus 5, 0. Minus 5, 0. This point itself, right? So this is B dash, minus 5, 0. And what is C dash? Minus 7, minus 4. Minus 7, minus 4. So this is C dash, minus 7, minus 4. Now let us find what? The reflection of this. So we, for that you have to join all these three, right? So you have to join. First A dash, B dash, you join. Then you join that A dash, C dash. Also, you join B dash, C dash, okay? So, you will get a beautiful triangle, okay? So, this is the reflection of the given triangle, ABC in what? Reflection in the origin, okay? So, first you find the points, vertices. Whether three points or four points, you will get a quadrilateral. Just you reflect the points, join, you will get the new triangle. Here, they didn't ask any other subdivisions, right? Draw the image of the triangle, that's all. Now see another question. Look at this question. Use graph paper for this question. Take 4 cm one unit. Normally they give 2 cm one unit. Here I have taken 4 cm one unit. For you to listen very carefully. 4 cm one unit on X and Y axis. A, B, C, D. 4 points given here. There are 4 subdivisions. Normally 4 mark questions will be like this. Reflection, reflect on Y axis. A, B, C, D, you have to reflect it on Y axis. Okay, so listen very carefully on Y axis. So can you tell me what is A dash now? A is the point. So let us mark then A. What is A? 2 comma 2. B is the point 2 comma minus 2. C is the point 0 comma minus 1. And D is the point 0 comma 1. Plot these points first. 2 comma 2 first. 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2, this point, right? So this point is A, 2 comma 2. Then B is 2 comma minus 2, 2 comma minus 2, 2 minus 2, this one. 2 comma minus 2. Then what is C? 0 comma minus 1, 0, x axis is 0, y axis is minus 1. So 0 comma minus 1, 0 comma minus 1. This point is what? C and D is the point 0 comma 1. 0, 1. So this is the point D, 0, 1. So hope you understand all these things, okay? So these four points reflect 
y axis reflect on y axis so what is a dash see what is a dash here on y axis on y axis means you change the sign of x change the sign of x so you get minus 2 2 what is b dash change the sign of x minus 2 minus 2 then what is c dash change the sign of x 0 if you change the sign it is 0 only okay 0 minus 1 and what is d dash 0 comma 1 change the sign of x coordinate so these point no change that means you know what are these points invariant point that is one part that part is what invariant points only right okay now listen so but before that if you want we'll draw this line right so what a b c d if we join let us see what we are getting right so a b c d if you join here you get a line here a and this B you join, then that one and C, right? C is here, so that also join. This is A, B, C, D, okay? So this is A, B, C, D. Now the reflection, so what is A dash? Minus 2, 2, right? Minus 2, 2. Where is minus 2, 2? Minus 2, 2 is this point, right? So this is our A dash, minus 2, 2. Then we want B dash, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, hope you understood. So this point is what? B dash, minus 2, minus 2. So that is the answer for the second subdivision. First one, reflect on Y axis A, B, C, D. Uh, second, they asked to find A dash, B dash. Third part is invariant point. What are invariant points here? After the reflection, there is no chain. That is C and D. So the invariant points are 0, comma, minus 1 and what? 0, comma, 1. And the last part is name A dash, B dash, C, D. A dash, B dash, C, D. Let us join that. A dash, join with B dash. A dash, B dash. Then what? So this also you have to join. So join this B dash C also. So okay, now listen. Here what they asked here. Name this A dash B dash C D. See? A dash B dash C D. A dash B dash C is here. D is here, right? A dash B dash C D. What type of diagram this one can you say? Only this one. You don't shade anything like this for you to see. Just in shading. What is this one? This is a trapezium. How do you know it is a trapezium? What is trapezium? Trapezium is a quadrilateral to one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So here, this side and this side, the two sides are what? Parallel. So it is a trapezium. If these two lengths are equal, if these two lengths are equal, then that trapezium, we call it as what? Isosceles trapezium. Here you can see the two lengths are equal also. So you can name it as what? What's the name of this? It is an isosceles trapezium. Sometimes they'll ask you to find the area of the trapezium also. So at least you remember the formula. If you know the formula, you can do that, right? So half into h into a plus b. H is the height, right? Height is means this one. This length is the height. What is that height? Two units. Okay, height is two unit. Then that A and B. A means the two parallel sides. This is A and this length is what? B. So, okay, so here this length is A is two because here one unit, here one unit. So it is two unit and uh, B is B is the other length. So this is two unit and here also two unit. So it is what? Totally four units. Okay, don't count the uh, what? The centimeter you don't count. How many units they said, right? So two centimeter equal to one unit, okay? That you have to take. So the formula, remember, half into H into A plus B. When you find the area, you write square units also, okay? See another sum. The point 3 comma 4 is reflected to P dash. 3 comma 4. X axis 3, Y axis 4. So this, this point is 3 comma 4. P is the point 3 comma 4 is reflected p is reflected to p dash on x axis on x axis so move to the same here this distance is what four units same four unit move to the other side okay so this is p dash so p dash is the point what this point is p dash reflected point on in x axis so 
it is 3 comma minus 4. So x axis means you change the sign of y coordinates. Okay. So P is reflected to P dash in x axis and O dash is the image of O when reflected in the line P P dash. So let us draw the line P P dash first. So the line P P dash you have to draw. Okay. So P P dash. P P dash. Just draw the line P P dash. Now what they are telling here, what is given here? O dash is the image of O. O dash is the image of O origin reflected in the line. Okay, so O is the point here, right? So O is the point. O is this point, okay? So O is the origin. So we have to reflect it. We have to reflect this O with respect to the line PP dash. So PP dash, the line is now like a mirror, right? So this distance is 3 units. So 3 units move that side. So we take another point here, 6. So here, same 3 units move here. So this point is O dash. Okay, so what is that point? It is 6, 0, right? 6, 0. That is O dash. Hope you understood. So, and O dash is the image of O when reflected in the line PP dash. Reflected in the line PP dash. Okay, so PP dash is the line and that is the uh, mirror now. If the point is here, its image is the other side. Now, first part over. Coordinates of P dash and what? O dash. Both you got it. The length of the segment PP dash. The length of the segment PP dash. So can you tell me PP dash is... So here, P, first part P dash is 3, comma minus 4. O dash is 6, comma 0. Then they asked what? Second part is length of the segment PP dash and O dash. PP dash and O dash. Let us see PP dash... P, P dash means the full length, right here, 3 plus 3, it is what? 6 units, okay? So 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, equal to 6 units. O, O dash, they are, see? O, O dash, so here 3 plus 3, right? So that is also uh, 6 units. P, P dash is 4 plus 4, 8 units, right? P, P dash is 4 plus 4, it should be 8 units. Look at the diagram again. P, P dash means from P, the distance is what? This is 4 unit. And here also 4 units. So it should be 4 plus 4, 8 units. Okay. 4 plus 4 equal to 8 units. But O, O dash is O, O dash here on 3 plus 3. So it is what? 6 units. 3 plus 3 equal to 6 units. And the last one, what they asked, the next one. Perimeter of quadrilateral P, O, P dash, O dash. P, O, P, O, P dash, O dash. Okay, so we have to join all these. P, O. So join P and O, P, O, then this O to P dash. Then this P dash to O dash and one more line, right? This O dash to P or P to O dash. So you are getting a quadrilateral. Okay, so look at the question again. P O P dash O dash. P O P dash O dash. What they asked? Find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Perimeter means what you do? You find all the sides, right? So you can use. Uh, even Pythagoras theorem you can use. So this angle is 90 degree. So this is the hypotenuse. So OP is the hypotenuse. OP is equal to root of this square plus this square. 3 square plus 4 square, right? 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. So root of 25, root 25 is what? 5, OP. Same way, all these triangles are what? Right angle triangles only, so you can use Pythagoras theorem. So you can find OP dash also, this triangle you take. It is a right angle triangle. So OP dash is also, so OP dash is also what? Root of 3 square plus 4 square. Okay, so 9 plus 16. Again, you'll get 5. In all the cases, all the four uh, right angle triangles, you can find the hypotenuse. That are the sides, okay? So you are getting, uh, each length is 5, right? Perimeter is equal to... 
perimeter of which one? P O P dash O dash is equal to uh, 5, right? 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 or 4 into 5, 20 units. And the last part, what they asked, the geometrical name of this figure. Geometrical name of this figure. All the four sides are equal, right? All the four sides are equal. So it is it is a rhombus, okay? Diagonals are perpendicular also. Diagonals are perpendicular, okay? So the angles are not 90, so it is not a square. So it is a rhombus, okay? It is a rhombus. So here if they ask, what you find the area, what's the formula for area of the rhombus? Half into D1 into D2. D1 and D2 are diagonals. Find the length, then you can half into D1 into D2. Look at the, I'll just will teach one more question. Use graph paper for the question. Take 2 cm 1 unit. So scale x-axis 2 cm 1 unit, y-axis 2 cm equal to 1 unit. Okay, Along both x-axis and y-axis, plot the points O, 0, 0. Okay, O is the point 0, 0. Then A is minus 4, 4. A is minus 4, minus 4, 4, right? Minus 4, 4. This point is A. Minus 4, 4. The scale, you know, uh, what? 2 centimeter equal 1 unit. That is why, so you can see the distance. Okay, 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter. So 2 centimeter, you take it as 1 unit. Okay. So A is this point O. B is minus 3, 0. Minus 3, 0. So this point is B. B is the point minus 3, 0. And what is C? 0, comma minus 3. 0, comma minus 3. 0, comma minus 3. That is C. 0, comma, minus 3. O is the point 0, comma, 0. Okay, O is the point 0, comma, 0. And this is O. So, see what you are getting if we join all these things. Let us see. A, O, A. Then that A to B. Then that B to C. Okay. Then C to O already line is there. Okay, C to already line is there. Okay, now what they asked? Plot these points over and we joined. You got some diagram. Reflect A and B on Y axis. Reflect A and B on Y axis. So what is A and B here? So A and B are two points. A is the point. What is A given? A is the point minus 4, 4. A is the point minus 4, 4, and B is the point, what is B given here? B is the point minus 3, 0. B is minus 3, 0. So what they are asking, you find A dash beta, that is you reflect A and B, reflect A and B on Y-axis. Reflect on Y-axis. On Y-axis means what you do? You change the sign of X coordinate, right? So what tenses you are getting here? A dash is the reflection of A in Y axis. So change the sign of X coordinate, minus 4 become plus 4. So it is 4, 4. And B dash, it become what? 3, 0. 4, 4, 3, 0. 4, 4. 4, 4 is this point. So this is A dash. 4, 4. And B dash is the point. What is B dash? 3 comma 0. 3 comma 0. So 3 comma 0 is this point. So this is B dash 3 comma 0. Join these also. If we join, see we take join this and this. These two points we join. Then this B dash and that A dash we join. Then finally join that O and A dash, okay? O and A dash also you join. Okay, other one we left. Okay, B dash and A dash also. See what they asked now. Name the figure. So it looks like what? This is like an arrow, right? So arrows like this, huh? some arrowhead. Okay, so the name of the diagram is, it is an arrowhead. 
normally we get some trapeze trapezium square rectangle right angle triangle right rhombus the previous question trapezium also even isosceles trapezium so here you are getting a arrowhead so that's all students so reflection very simple topic three reflections you remember reflection in x axis reflection in y axis and reflection in the origin reflection in x axis change the sign of y coordinate reflection in y axis change the sign of x, co x coordinate reflection in the origin you change the sign of both x and y if the point does not change that point is called invariant point and we did few some practice more questions thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video